Matthew 6. Now, this one you should make note of. Here's the answer to your prayer question again, brother. All right, you ready? Boy, how do you read that little Bible? Jesus Christ, your eyes must be getting hold of you. 21. Woo, that's what it is. Okay, <laughs> Matthew 6, starting at verse 24. Here we go. Starting at verse 24. No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. Who is mammon? The God of money. Mammon. The God of mammon. That was the God of money. See, the thing about money is this. When I was talking about the streets of gold, I meant to say this. Money should be under your feet. It should be serving you. You're walking on money, right? But if money is controlling you, then you're not just not serving you. So we walk on money on the streets of gold. It serves us. Amen? Money should never be, uh, you should never be serving money. Money should be serving you. That's that scripture about the root of all, money is the root of all evil. Because you, money is using you and you're not using it correctly. Amen? You love it too much. It's your God. Money ain't coming to me now. The devil is a liar. Amen? Leroy Thompson is a false prophet. I said it. He's a false prophet. The man talks ignorantly to his members. Get me some water and don't be slow about it. You talk to me like that and I'm a member of your church, I'm going to take your own daggone water. Matter of fact, I'm going to be like, who saw a color purple? You know what Sheely did in that water? <coughs> Next time I'm going to put some of my ass to pee in it. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Talk to me like that. Man, where's your love for your members, man? That woman, that, that was that woman's husband she was talking, he was talking to out of God. I said, dude, you're talking to my wife. What's wrong with you? I don't care who you are. I don't care what $16,000 dog you got. You talk to my wife like that again, I'm going to punch you in your mouth. I'm her priest, not you. Amen? See, they don't want to hear that. But I'm, they're going to hear it anyway. Amen. All right, here we go. Matthew 6, 24. You can't serve two masters. 25. Therefore, I say unto you, take no thought for your life, what you shall eat or what you shall drink, nor yet for your body. What you shall put on is not the life more than meat and the body more than raiment. Do you see that, my brother? He's already letting you know. You ain't got to worry about those things. Watch this. Verse 26. Behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather in barns. Yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are you not much more better than they? Amen. 27. Which of you, by taking thought, can add, now that word thought in the King James means worry. Which of you can keep worrying, amen, by worry can add one cubit uh, to his stature. And why, <laughs> why, 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 amen, and why take you thought for your clothes? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They toil not, neither do they spin. And yet I say unto you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Wherefore, if God so clothed the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you, O you of little faith? That means you don't trust God enough. When he calls you little faith, you're not trusting God to what? Provide for your food, to make sure you're clothed, and to make sure money's in your pocket. You ain't got to ask him for it. He already knows you need it. So pray for those who need it. Then watch God fulfill your what? Needs. Amen. And that what Solomon did? And what did he do? Gave him what he didn't ask for. Ah. Because his prayer please God. Verse 31. Therefore take no worry, saying, What shall we eat? Or what shall we drink? Or what shall we uh, be clothed with? For after all these things do the Gentiles seek the unsaved. That word Gentile there means the unsaved seek these things. Greed and gluttony. Amen. For your heavenly Father knoweth that you have need of all these things. But here's your favorite scripture. This wraps it up. But seek ye first. Finish it for me, gentlemen. And what? And all his what? And it shall be what? And it, all these things shall be added unto you. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. Amen? So therefore, I need to be praying for you more than I pray for myself. Amen? I need to be helping you more than because if I'm helping you, I'm helping me. Amen? Not judging you, not saying you're wrong, not putting you dead. No, brother, I don't agree with your sin. But I ain't going to throw you in the hell because I can't. So my job is to restore you. Like Galatians 6, it tells us, uh, you which you which you are spiritual, restore something one of the spirit of meekness. Restore your brother. 
when you see him fall, don't put him down. Restore him. Amen? Sometimes truth hurts. But it's still the truth nonetheless. Amen? John 15. Come on, we're almost done. John 15. John 15. 7. Almost done. Now, I want you all to read those books on the classes. But when I come back Friday, we're going to hit it. And I want a lot of questions from y'all. Amen? I'm going to show y'all what the testing is. I'm taking the books home myself. Because I'm probably ain't going nowhere Thanksgiving. I don't like holidays. I don't mean, you know, I appreciate them, but I don't like them. I don't, I don't get into that mess. I don't like paganism, okay? Amen? But I, those who celebrate, God bless you. I hope to just see my mommy and that be it. I just want to see my mommy. <laughs> 51 years old. I want to see my mommy. <laughs> 15 7 says this. If you abide in me and my word abide in you, and you shall ask what you will, and it shall be done unto you. So that tells me, if I live in him, the word abide means in him. If I live in him and his word is in me, then whatever I pray for, I can get. Amen? But I must be living in him and living in his word to get what I'm asking. Do you feel that? Read it. 15.7 If you live in me and my word live in you, you shall pray what you will and it shall be done unto you. But you got to be living in his word and him living in you. Amen? Or well, your prayers don't go to work. When it says living in him and living in his word, is that just like, like us being the team challenge? Can you be the team challenge? Is that am I living in his word? No, you're learning to. You're still a baby. You're learning. Right now, he's carrying you all the way. He's milking you. He's breastfeeding you. He's covering every mistake. You want to know when you start living in him, he says, now it's time for you to walk. You and me. See, right now, you're doing like this. Come on, walk. Come on. You know how you baby. Come on, walk with me. Oh, I got you. Oh, there we go. All right, now, come on, come on. I don't care how old you are. You'll be 80 years old. You start walking. But one day, you're going to do like this. You're going to say, oh, my day. You win. Win. And father's always there to feed you that bottle. or give you a nibble. There you go. Suck it. All right? But one day, he's going to say, you ain't getting no more. It's time to eat some meat. Come on, Dad, where you at? You said you won't be here. He is here, but he's letting you go through it to mature you. That was the worst time of my life, man. I would call on God when I first got saved. He'd show up just like that. Wow. Watch this guy. God wanted to provide me with this. And he was there. Oh, every time I spoke something, he was there. I got around and started showing up. Yo, my sister got this. My guy was about all I need, man. Wait. Yeah. All right, God, I got this car. I'm going to serve you in it. Yeah, I'm going to serve you, God. And I'm hacking. I'm going to serve you. The engine blew. Boom. Couldn't roll it no more. Boom. Had to spend $3,500 for a $500 car. God bless you for that to pay a $5 time. Boom. Because when you steal from God, he makes you pay back seven times. Woo. So I had to pay $3,700. I mean, $3,500 on this $500 car that I promised God I would only use to serve for him. But I started smoking, cracking it, hacking it, being born again, doing all kinds of stuff in it. But this was the God saw. God with my butt. He didn't show up no more. I called him on him. You on your own. Hmm. I'm still with you. I ain't gonna let the devil kill you. But you on your own. Are you gonna still serve? Yeah. Alright, um. While he's doing that, go to Johnny. God never forces you to do it. I mean, if like another being on the earth kind of forces you to obey the rules. Like if you want to do something, but you're not able to, so you decide to surrender and surrender to the being's will. Or I'm not. I don't think I'm clear. I'm like thinking. if you want to leave, but you can't. So you why can't you? To, why can't you? Leave? Your family don't let you leave or not. Because they won't let you back in the house. Yeah. Probably we told them not to. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, go ahead. 